So after much trial and tribulation, <coughs> the rain sensor error, error was solved by switching a <coughs> spare valve body into the transmission because that is where your rain sensor is located. So, got a new, new battery. I had to, of course, I'm a cheapskate. I got it on sale, so I had to swap to the, those things. I got it up on jack stands. I got to not forget that, like I did earlier, that this is a four-wheel drive and you can't just let the front wheel spin to test out your transmission. You can't do that. Let's see if this thing is going to come to life for our YouTube viewers. Ah, you see a good sign there. You see the letter P? That means that the rain sensor is telling the automatic transmission computer that it's got it's got a signal okay so so notice the fun thing I thought that the in my inexperience I thought that the rain sensor might be in this shift thing it's not so I gotta put that all back together but look at that fun action there you see you press the brake pedal and it makes that little thing get out of the way and of course, now you can see why when you stick the pencil down, it slides it out of the way, the little emergency situation. All right, let's watch that rain sensor tell us what gear we're in. Look at that. Reverse, neutral, drive, and that thing where you can do the paddles. You got to paddle that one to go up and paddle that one to go down. So there's your paddles. See, cute little paddles. All right, let's start it. See if the engine starts and it's not immobilized. Oh, it's immobilized. Let's put it in the park and try again. Ah, praise the Lord. The Lord is responsible for this car working. All right, I got a tire pressure sensor error and my door is open. Alright ladies and gentlemen, success.